is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the new Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow uh, Niacinamide Sunscreen. When this came out on Sephora, I went and bought it like the day it came out, but then I had to wait for it to ship to me. So anyway, here we are. I did try this yesterday without any makeup. I just wanted to see, um, you know, how sunscreens tend to have white cast or pilling problems. So I just wanted to see how that went before I tried putting makeup over it. Yesterday when I was trying this for the first time, I did find that, you know, if I was rubbing it in the same way I would a moisturizer, it was pilling just a little bit, not too bad, but I tried patting it also and that worked a lot better and I did not see any pilling. Um, it was really lightweight and there was no white cast that I can see, but I am pretty pale right now because it's still my like winter color. So we're gonna be applying this and then doing a very simple basic makeup look today. I just have a couple friends coming over for brunch and I do not have that much time to get ready. So anyway, let's get into it. So the packaging is really sleek. It's that pink watermelon glow classic color and it's got a screw top. It does say to shake it. So that's what I did yesterday. I did my morning skincare routine, like, you know, moisturized, wash my, well, wash my face first, then moisturized. Um, and you really don't need a whole lot of this stuff. You just want to make sure that you let your skincare soak in first before you kind of go in with this. I just find that with most sunscreens, it's, you're definitely better off with letting your skincare soak in before you go in with sunscreen. So I'm just patting this in. Um, it is, you know, takes a little bit longer to apply this way than rubbing it in would, but it is worth it because it doesn't pill and it you're getting like a really even coverage. So I'm bringing you guys in a little bit closer so you can kind of see how that sits on my skin. It does give you sort of that, I don't want to say greasy glow, but it does give you a glow. It doesn't feel greasy though. And I would say it kind of looks less greasy than a lot of other sunscreens out there, especially for this being an SPF 50, right? It's not like a 15 or a 25. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm just going to let that sit for about three minutes while it absorbs um, before I go in with foundation. For foundation today, I am using the Rare Beauty. Uh, this is their Liquid Weightless Foundation. You really don't need too much of it. And like I said, I'm going for a really light natural makeup look today. So I'm just gonna pounce this in with my damp beauty sponge. So far, so good. Um, I, you know, really wasn't anticipating there being a problem just because I am using a padding motion. I don't know what it would be if you were to use a brush and like did swiping motions. So right on top, we're gonna go in with the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. We are going to blend this in as well with the damp beauty sponge. Again, so far, so good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish like my contour and blush before bringing you guys in a little bit closer. Um, for you guys to see how all that sat on the skin but so far so good another rare beauty item this is the always sunny contour stick it is like the creamiest contour stick i have it is better than a fenty one like i like I, I really do like the fenty one but i just feel like this one blends so much easier than the fenty one Next, I am going to go in with a cream blush. This is the Rose Ink one, and it just looks so natural, so good. And it's very pigmented, so you definitely want to be careful with it. I am doing like a stippling, swiping motion a little bit, so that will um, help us see how the sunscreen reacts. Okay, so bringing you guys in again before I do my eyes, my brows, and stuff like that. Um, it does look fine. Like, it, it looks exactly how it would if I didn't have the Glow's Recipe sunscreen on. So I do feel like it is adding a little bit of glow, which I, I do like, but it's not too much. And it feels really good. It's not, like, interfering with how the makeup lays on top of it, or at least um, the way it applies now. 
But yeah, let me finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll check back in. Okay, so I have finished my makeup. Like I said, real simple, real easy because I gotta go put casseroles in the oven here in a minute. But I didn't really touch the rest of my face after I last checked in. All my makeup is done now. Like I said, I'm really happy with the way that the makeup is laying over the Glow Recipe sunscreen so far. Um, I think what I'll do is at the end of the day, I'm going to check back in and see if my face makeup wore any differently than it normally would have without the sunscreen. You know what I mean? Um, but so far, so good. I will check in later. Okay, so it has been about 13 hours since I did my makeup this morning. Um, I'm about to take a shower and go to bed. But as you can see, my makeup is still pretty normal. Honestly, pretty good. Um, granted, I spent all day in the house, so I didn't like go out. I wasn't like sweaty or anything like that. But I did not touch up anything throughout the day. And everything wore exactly like how it would. Uh, my eyelids get greasy throughout the day, so I can see that. But it's not really any worse with that sunscreen. I do also want to mention that sometimes sunscreens make my eyes kind of hurt throughout the day, like if I would rub or touch my eyes or whatever, if I blinked too much. Uh, the sunscreen does not hurt my eyes at all, like I didn't get any stinging feelings, so honestly, I really do like that sunscreen so far. The only test is like, you know, as I'm using it day after day after day, like we'll see if it breaks me out. That's like the one last thing I want to test out, but I, you know, I'm impressed at this little glow recipe sunscreen. It might have to be part of my permanent arsenal. So yeah, that is it from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little review. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me review. I will probably be posting updates of like me using this long term on my Instagram instead of like making a whole other YouTube video about it. So follow me on there if you would like to hear more or if you have any questions. Let's connect, let's be friends. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!